I think I'm just gonna have to get out of here. My name's Donovan Thurman. Join me and my dog Remy as we travel off the beaten path in my trusty old Subaru. my camp for the next few days and probably a spot that I'm going to try and come back to in the future. I know this spot is pretty popular. Unfortunately, the main road that goes up to a, another trailhead in the area, it goes right by the site. So I'm going to have road noise, but the river behind me, as you can probably hear, is plenty loud enough to probably drown out most of that. The only thing I don't really like about this spot, and it's a problem that I've seen all over the place from even out in North Carolina, or I should say especially out on the East Coast and in North Carolina, is that this spot, because it's right by the main road and easily accessed, it's been, I don't really want to say abused, it's not in terrible shape as far as trash goes, but it's been manipulated, which is kind of, it's not something that you're supposed to do when you're dispersed camping. Like, I don't know if these logs were brought in here by somebody that has been cut into benches, um, but, you know, doing kind of permanent modifications to things isn't always the greatest idea, but I don't know the backstory on these logs. That It just brings it to mind that, you know, this has been a manipulated campsite. And, uh, but, with that being said, it's still beautiful. Guess I'm just gonna get kind of set up, and it looks like Remy stepped on something, so I'm gonna try and pull whatever that is in her paw out. I don't see anything, girlfriend. I'm not sure what she got on her paw. I'm wondering if maybe she didn't get stung or something or bit. Cause there's nothing like sticking in her paw. So I'll have to keep an eye on it, see if it swells up and give her some Benadryl or something. And also, nearly all the music is Mexican, even the pop music. And considering Mexico's status and location... ...made me think of the ponderosa pine seeds that germinate only after a fire, or certain desert plants that germinate only if their husks are worn away by stones in a flash flood, thereby ensuring they will have enough moisture to grow. I also remembered reading about certain fruit seeds which would only germinate if they were excreted by birds or animals. In Darwinian terms, this apparently helped to assure their dispersion, but the metaphor that occurred to me concerned the ordeals of new growth, that in order for a little baby seed, or soul, to grow, it would have to pass through fire, flood, or shit. So that line in the book right there just kind of jumped out at me. I've been thinking about my life over the last few years um, in particular because uh, this last Friday was my birthday 
and uh, also kind of the anniversary of what could have been a good thing and also at the same time an anniversary of what ended up being a really painful thing that I don't really need to go into too much detail about but suffice it to say the last few years has, haven't been like the easiest time of my life and uh, but this is like the first year and the first birthday I guess in a while that I've kind of just felt good about where I'm at what I'm doing what goals I have and uh, what I want to move forward with after that tough time and so I don't know I think it was kind of funny that that line popped up on the book right when I just happened to be filming a couple clips <laughs> so hmm. it's crazy how uh, some something or a series of events that can at the time seem like the absolute worst thing that you could imagine end up working out Awesome spot to relax, man. I don't know if you can see very well behind me, but the smoke just rolled in really thick. And it's uh, kind of getting a little gross just to breathe. So I might just have to bug out of this spot tonight and uh, head back down out of the mountains here, closer to town, and just come back to this spot later. So I'm glad I found this spot and uh, it's a really good spot. I've had three people already pull in here within like an hour trying to get this spot. And uh, I might have to let one of them just take it because this is kind of gross. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway. So kind of a uneventful little camping trip here, but yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. The forest fires are no fun, and uh, I don't really look forward to just trying to trying to sleep in a, this smoke box. So I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here.
you'd like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.